Hey, what's happening, y'all? Now, I've been meaning to do this video for a while now. Um, of course, I've been putting it off because of the, um, the, you know, all the lead up to other great fights that's been happening, particularly Ward and Kovalev rematch. So I've been putting too much energy and, and emphasis and focus on that. So now that's been concluded. And I'm glad Andre Ward won the fight, even though there's still people out there that I'm arguing with who contest, who's still believing that the fight should have not been stopped, which I agree and should not have been stopped. I thought Kovalev should at least gotten a 10 count. However, they believe that Ward, you know, won that fight by um, low blows. I'm like, well, I mean, some people just, you can't, you know, you can't argue with people who, who doesn't have any, who doesn't have rational sense. So it just, I don't know why I'm wasting my energy with it. They're going to believe what they want to believe. That's fine. You can change their opinion on the situation. But sometimes you do have to fight back and say, you know what? You're not being impartial here because if you're going to focus on one situation, why are you uh, avoiding the other one? You know, like, for example, Kovalev's repeated rabbit punch into Andre Ward to the back of his head, even though he was warned about it as well. But, yeah, let's be fair, though. Both of the fighters never got stern warnings for their tactics. You know what I mean? War, uh, claiming that war was illegally doing uh, low blows to um uh, was you know, repeatedly doing low blows to Kovalev in all in the all, in all the rounds I'm like that's not true he was hitting on the belt line noticing how Kovalev all starting to complain about the belt line shots you know after maybe the fifth or sixth round so you know that doesn't make any sense so you know it is what it is the fight is done war got the TKO victory but needless to say they're gonna find a way to credit him no matter what so um, no matter the outcome of the fight, you know, first they're going to claim the robbery of the first fight, even though I find that laughable, even though most of them scored that fight seven to five, believing that the champion Kovalev at the time should have gotten the benefit of the doubt, which makes no sense. And shout out to the librarian because he he perfectly stated this fact. Say, like, look, you win, you win rounds based off the fact that you um, I'm sorry. Let me take that back. You win fights based off scoring rounds. That's how you score fights doesn't matter if you're the champion or not because if you believe that and black in fact these are the same people that argue this case are the same people that believe that roman gonzalez got the uh, should have been um uh, rightfully should have been awarded the decision over the uh champion uh carlos kudras <laughs> wow huh very interesting and also this is the same people that believe that sugar ray leonard rightfully got the decision over marvin Hagler, and the reason why they say that because out of spite of Hagler to propagate golovkin you see where i'm going with this anyways that's a different video. Let me get into the topic here. Now, Oscar De La Hoya has been coming out and he's been, you know, um, you know, he's been um, rambling off about how um, he believes that the uh, Mayweather and McGregor fight um, is, a, you know, it's a disgrace to boxing. It's a circus, which I agree is a circus act, but I won't call it a disgrace. I don't think it's a disgrace at all, because first of all, it's an exhibition bout. All right. Other great fighters has partaken in exhibition bouts. I mean, Muhammad Ali has done it on, on a couple of occasions, from my knowledge. He um, participated in an exhibition bout against, uh, what's his name, the famed wrestler in Japan, the Japanese wrestler Antonio Inoki. Um, and then he had partaken in an exhibition bout against some Rus amateur Russian fighters over the former Soviet Union. So uh, I don't have a problem with Floyd doing it. I mean, I, I can't knock him for it. But let's be honest here, all right? First, let me get to Oscar here. I'll get into the fight, um, onto the fight itself. Oscar has no right to try to call for a boycott, okay? Because now he's telling, trying to get everybody to boycott the fight. I find that hypocrit on, hypocritical on his part because, one, you promoted one of the most atrocious fights in history on pay-per-view, okay? One of the most atrocious fights we've ever seen. It was a money grab, okay? Like I, pers I as I initially stated, all right, in one of my prior videos leading up to it. Okay, we all knew that Chavez Jr. was not going to be competitive, all right? Even though he did um, show some bit of improvement in that fight, as I stated, but let's be honest, it was a glorified sparring session, all right? Let's not get it twisted, okay? Number two, when your company was in the midst of storm with the racist emails that uh, surfaced about um, one of your, I think it was one of your marketing um, executives, I believe, based in Mexico, who uh, slandered Al Hayman and whatnot, called them derogatory names such as nigger, I believe, whatnot. You never addressed that issue internally, okay? So you dismissed the uh, calls for the boycott on your company when those emails surfaced. And I'm very disappointed at Bernard Hawkins because he should have spoke out about it. I understand that he didn't want to speak out about it because he didn't want to bite off the hand that was feeding him, but at the same time, 
you have to take a moral stance on situations like that. Okay, it's not always about the money. It's not always about the money. It's about morality in most in some cases, and I think this is one of them. So I'm very disappointed, Bernard, for not standing up to say something about that. Okay, now again, Oscar, you can't sit here and, and call boycotts for other situations while you uh, rejected boycotts for on your company for not handling for poorly handling the um, um, the email controversy surrounding your company. All right, so. Let's not get it twisted, all right? You have no right to boycott anybody. To all be, well, to call for a boycott for anybody, okay? Now, on to the fight with May, uh, Mayweather and uh, McGregor. It's a circus, no question about it. It's nothing but a clown act. It's a, you know, money grab, okay? It's both fighters are just making big money for nothing, just for, you know, just to put on a stupid-ass show. Could it be entertaining? Perhaps. But honestly, those who support this shit, who um, you know, who are Floyd Mayweather fans, come on, y'all, y'all honestly believe that this fight's gonna be competitive. You honestly believe that? If you really believe that, then I suggest you turn off this video and pause this video. I should say, take a look at the um, Conor McGregor versus Chris Van Deren sparring session. All right, if Conor McGregor can't handle Chris um, Van Deren, who's a C-class fighter at best, then what makes you think he can handle Floyd Mayweather? Although he's not at the best of shape. All right, going into this damn exhibition bout. So, and the people have asked me, why haven't you made videos about this? I mean, I don't have no reason to make a video about it. It's an exhibition bout, okay? Number one. Number two, I mean, <laughs> this is Floyd Mayweather, a guy who hasn't really shown any remorse for the comments he made about African Americans, particularly the Black Lives Matter and, uh, and you know, who've uh, degraded Africa, all right? I haven't gone over that. I'm just being real, y'all. I haven't gone over that. So, again, I'm not going to knock Floyd for doing what he wants to do. That's fine. That's an exhibition bout. Cool. I'm not going to knock him for that. Go ahead and get your money, bro. But at the same time, I'm not going to support this. All right? I'm not going to make a video about something that's meaningless. And then, and then there's people pushing this, um, who are still pushing this 49 and 0. He's about to go 50 and 0. I mean, he's going to break uh, Rocky Marciano's record. I mean, first of all, what record? Rocky Marciano was a heavyweight, for God's sakes, okay? The record that he holds is a heavyweight record. That's not an all-time record. If you want to talk about all-time records, the all-time records where a fighter has the most wins without a defeat is Jimmy Berry, the Little Tiger. Okay, he retired 59 and 0. Then after him is Ricardo Lopez, 51 and 0, a modern-day fighter. Ricardo Lopez is the only fighter in history to retire undefeated as a pro and an amateur. So come on, y'all. Let's not get it twisted. But are both of those fighters considered the greatest fighters of all time? No, they're not. Let's be realistic. They're not even hardly mentioned in the conversation. You know, the only guy that mentions Ricardo Lopez is the boxing librarian. You know, he's been very consistent about that. But needless to say, guys, it's a money grab. It's an exhibition bout. I'm not clamoring for it. I'm not supporting it. Um, and again, I mean, if you guys want to support it, that's cool. I got, you know, I'm not going to knock you guys for supporting it. But just let's just be honest here. I'm not going to knock you for that. But let's just be honest here. It's not going to be a competitive fight. If you really believe it's going to be a competitive fight, then you're not being honest with yourselves. I'm just keeping it real, y'all. I'm just keeping it real. So, yeah, that's just my take on this whole Oscar De La Hoya and Floyd Mayweather beef situation and this him, you know, Oscar being a little hypocritical about boycotting somebody. But the one thing, personally, if you ask me, I just think that um, this rivalry between Mayweather and, and uh, De La Hoya has been prolonged way too long. All right. It's got to, it's got to, um, you know, it's got to, um, it's, you know, they both got to cut this out. All right. They both got to cut this out. You know, Floyd saying some derogatory derogatory things about Oscar. Oscar saying derogatory things about Floyd. You know, Floyd himself need to grow up in some ways because now he's going out there hating on Andre Ward. He's going out there hating on Anthony Joshua, blasting him, although he sold out an arena with 90,000 people. Now, Floyd Mayweather couldn't fucking sell out in his last fight, but he has nerve to blast Anthony Joshua. I forgot to mention that. So, you know, hating ass dude, man. You know, you can't even congratulate a brother on his success, but you have to go there and try to undermine him when you drive over to England and, um, you know, try to upstage everyone while you, you know, you hardly try to promote your fighter, Javante Davis. Yeah, I mentioned that in one of my videos. I just didn't like that at all, man. I just didn't like that. But, you know, it is what it is. He's going to do what the hell he wants to do, you know, Floyd with his narcissistic ways. But, um, yeah, um, that's just my take on it. Another thing, too, is that Oscar, he has a nerve to say that uh, Floyd should fight the winner of Canelo and, uh, and Golovkin. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. 
See, this is what I'm talking about. First, you're going to boycott a man's fight, exhibition fight, and then you're going to tell him that he should fight the winner of Canelo and Golovkin. Hmm, all right, I see how this goes, Oscar. Let's be honest. You need a money grab just like anybody else, just like Floyd Mayweather does. He needs a money grab, and you need one too. So if you can get Floyd Mayweather to take a rematch with Canelo, which many of us don't want to see, um, that's a money grab. You make a lot of money off that. Let's be realistic. And as far as Golovkin's concerned, oh yeah, Golovkin's been trying to pursue the May Mayweather fight for years. For years. And yet the Golovkin fans have a nerve, the nerve to clown other middleweights who fought smaller guys throughout their careers like Hagler, Hopkins, and uh, LaMotta. They don't really mention LaMotta for some reason. Um, I, don't, I, I wonder why. Uh, Monzon, they recently, you know, recently have brought him up in the conversation. But yet when Golovkin does it, it's no problem. He had, they have no problem with him calling out Mayweather, a naturally small guy. A naturally small guy, I should say. So, yeah. Um, there's, you know, there's there's no more need to be saying about this. I mean, they both of these guys need to cut it out. Oscar, you need to stop being hypocritical on situations such as boycotting an event. And, uh, yeah, there's nothing more to be said about this. I'm out.